I have um, been here on campus since 1968 and I picked this place um, I felt it was a place that I would feel comfortable and I would be happy in and it was a niche that I felt I could um, do well and it was something that I really didn't know why but I made the choice to come and I made the choice to stay and I continue to be happy doing what I'm doing. I'm one of the very fortunate in life that can say I've been happy in my job. For half of the time I was here, I was really the only woman uh, in the faculty and the youngest person in the faculty. And I can say that it was um, a very, very nice environment to work with. I was highly respected and I enjoyed my colleagues and we worked well together. And I think that was part of the whole reason why the department has made so many gains is that everyone seems to put out as much as they can, but we all work together as much as we can. So we have a synergism of working independently and at the same time working together that just tops it off. So when I first arrived on campus in 1968, uh, a new building was in the works. Um, there were maybe 40 some majors and now there are over 400 and yet we still not, have not expanded our physical facilities at all. Uh, I was able to design this room. I am the only microbiologist uh, in the area so I had a big impact. I sat down with the architects and they essentially uh, put things just where I wanted them. Even the clock is in the position that I requested. Yes, most of it is original, in fact. Um, one of the things I think that we really need to secure better, these desktops, for example, are 40 years old, at least 40, maybe 43 years old. The windows are original, and they're beautiful windows, but they don't close properly, so we get a draft, and our equipment over there has to be moved if we want accuracy. Some of the equipment is very old. I know when we moved over here, um, we took as much equipment as we ca could from Old Main, and it's still here. We're still using these incubators and um, we're still nursing them along and hoping that safety valves work and so forth. The um, pipes over there freeze up in the winter time and sometimes they break and ruin the f first floor. Uh, we, the air conditioning is for the building, but it doesn't seem to come in here and no computer facilities at all. I think I may have mentioned that, but that's getting to be fairly serious an issue. So there are things that um, need refreshing and there are things that need replacing and some new novel ideas uh, in still because science marches on. It doesn't stay for anybody. And um, you know, maybe the Smithsonian would like some of our equipment because <laughs> that would be a good place to bring it. Um, and um, it's just something I think we need to go ahead and, and make good on some of the promises we have made to the alumni that the gifts they are giving us are going to be used to rejuvenate this place and continue the magic that we have here. And indeed it is that.